Welcome to the Faith Clinic Podcast with Evangelist Terry Brunson, host facilitator for Dr. Jesus. This is an inspirational, Holy Ghost baptized podcast that is heaven directed for those who need their faith in God perfected. When Jesus hears or sees perfected faith, he hops right to that situational case. 1 Thessalonians 3.10 says, Faith can be perfected to fix whatever is lacking in it. Perfected faith can reverse our troublesome curse. Perfected faith gives rest from stress and relief from life's mess. It's only in Jesus that faith can be perfected best to make our spiritual pathway brighten, our burdensome situations lightened, and our faith in God's supernatural works tightened. Perfected faith finds a way to mature us in the workings of God to turn all our hurts into hurdles, to jump over them in perfected faith. It has been divinely ordained for you at this time and moment to be listening to this Faith Clinic podcast. Now is the time for you to connect, to correct, and perfect that which is lacking in faith's results for you. According to 1 Thessalonians 3.10, this podcast is an outreach to win souls to Jesus and to share God's true concept on faith with those saved to live out the grace of God on earth as they wait for the heavenly experience by following the will of God, written in the Word of God motivated by the Spirit of God, to walk by the power of God in perfected faith. Many in the body of Christ have an infected faith filled with doubt, which causes them to pout and shout about how their faith is so sick. God has given everyone a measure of faith to use in everyday life by the witness of men. That faith measure can be perfected and improved. Faith is heaven's medium of exchange that moves God's power to aid us in our trials. The only way to get God's power from heaven to help us is through faith. Hebrews 11:6 says without faith it is impossible to please God we who need heaven's help must believe to be live like God is our helper and that God is a rewarder of all who seek after him in faith John 3 verse 27 says nothing can be received from heaven except by the source of faith let me say that one more time for the money honey John 3:27 says nothing can be received from heaven except by the source of faith that sounds so nice, that is why I said it twice. Repetition deepens the impression when it comes to perfecting faith. It is perfected faith in Jesus that soothes and smooths life's challenges out. I ask all in the sound of my voice to take God's word and be finding 1 Corinthians 2 4 5 as I pray, Dr. Jesus, our Lord. This is your manservant evangelist Terry Brunson, host facilitator of Faith Clinic Fellowship. Can you fill my mouth with your words? And let the words of my mouth be acceptable to those listening to them to want to want to perfect what's lacking in their faith. In Jesus' name. Amen. Faith sees a promise of God, and it alone looks unto God to accomplish that promise in our seemingly impossible situation while we move out. Before we find out how things will turn out, God will be at the captain's helm guiding the situation to align with His promise. Read with me in quick scan 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Verse 4. And verse 5. It says, And my speech, and my preaching, was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but it was in demonstration of the Spirit, with power, that our faith should not stand, in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Faith is a spiritual force anchored in God's Word. God's concept of faith stretches beyond the demarcation lines set by denominational creeds in religious practices. Most religious faiths usually express faith in religious ways limited to the pioneers of that faith. The advancement in religious faith entices people to preach the words of man's wisdom to fill the ranks of a denominational fold in the Baptist faith, or the Catholic faith, or the Pentecostal faith, or the Jehovah's Witness faith. Religion tends to restrict faith to a status quo of their fundamentals on the ABCs of faith. But God's concept of faith advances beyond a set demarcation line that religion puts on faith's progress. God's concept of faith advances beyond the fundamental ABCs of faith unto it goes to a DEF. G. And an XYZ. Religion tends to put an ending point on faith. Faith must never cease in its quest to advance. Faith goes beyond the ordinary comprehension of a start and a finish. Faith stretches further than where religion can take faith's advance. Faith is said in God's word by Romans 10:17. Many make a mistake when they try to measure faith by setting a demarcation line on faith. 
Faith has only a start point in God's Word. Faith has no finish point. But faith has a finisher of faith's demonstration in Jesus. He is the author and finisher of all faith and situational deliverance. There is a spiritual dimension in faith where religion cannot take us. We are to advance in faith as we walk by faith. Faith advances in its experience with God's ability and power to perform His word in a promise claimed. Advancing faith goes further in an experience in God's power than many take time to study for themselves. Faith is a spiritual force that can advance beyond limits that we may set. God has greater explodes in faith in which He wants His people to experience and advance in. Advancing faith grows to put us in its safe place. Faith as a shield shelter works to get us through life's storms. Faith doesn't stop the storms of life. Faith gives us a safe place to build a hope that the sun will shine again in spite of the storm. Faith has the elasticity to stretch further and beyond the dimension of where we now are. As we advance in faith, faith builds. And we find the faith to trust God to demonstrate His power. It is faith in God's Word. That calms our hearts. Until God calms our storms. Faith up front may seem as a risk. But it will grow to show us that faith is a relief. To take care of our situation. Faith is like a tea bag. It works best when it is in hot water situations. Faith is like scotch tape. When we put it on, we cannot see it. But we know faith is there holding all things together and in place. Faith advances through the darkness by its light showing the way by God's promises. Faith and demonstration stand in the power of God. 1 Corinthians 2.5 says faith should stand in the power of God, and not in the wisdom of men. This text points us what not to stand in on faith. The wisdom of men. Then the text height lights the object of all faith. We should stand in the power of God. See God is the object of faith. A God-focused faith is a true object of faith. In God's concept of faith implants, the demonstration on God's power, which sets aside the tenant beliefs of religion. God wants His people to go forward in Him more than a set of religious ideas that are limited to show the power of God. Faith in God as our object goes further than being membership in church denomination. Denominational faith as an object is centered in a church founder in a man. But the object of faith in God is the object anchors faith in God alone. We have a God that is one, but His children seem to be of many denominational backgrounds. Many have lost the faith focus on God and out of pride sides with their denominational creeds and beliefs, and they miss the faith standard of the Bible. God had one church, one Lord, one faith. And that faith is in God as the object of all faith. Many religious people turn away from God's true concept of faith because their focus has been blurred by the wisdom of men. Sure, we'll still find salvation in heaven's promise, but they will lack demonstration in God's power. Sirs will attend a church and sit, soak and sour in the teachings of Bible stories with no oracle prophetic meaning to today's people of God. God, as the object of our faith, needs no confirmation, needs no explanation and support by the wisdom of men. Faith has no other reservation than to be put in God. Jesus set the bar on faith. When he said, in Mark 11:22, have faith in God. God is the only true object of all people's faith. Faith in God puts God at the focus point of all power and demonstration in faith functions. Faith in God has the deepest dimensions of power. God asks of us to advance our faith beyond our present levels unto the results in His power and demonstrations. God wants people to stretch their faith beyond the limits of their religious practices. Putting faith in God as our object provokes God to move out of the ordinary into the extraordinary to fix all situations. Write that down. Faith in God rises up decayed places. Let me show you what the Word says. Isaiah 44 24, 26 says, I am the God that makes things happen all by myself. 
I confirm the words of my servants and perform the counsel of my messengers. If they build Jerusalem, I will see to it that it be inhabited. Their part is to build, and mine is to raise up the decayed places for people to dwell. This Old Testament view of placing faith in God as the object shows the New Testament believers that God moves to confirm and perform to rise up decayed places built upon. Are there any decayed places in our faith that we all need to build upon? Faith placed in God will move God to confirm and perform to rise up decayed places for us. Psalm 910 says, They that know God will put faith in Him. The object of faith is God Himself. Placing faith in God is not a thing to study about, it's a thing to be about. When faith is placed in God, it becomes a living force to produce power and evidence on God doing what He has promised by His Word. In His timing, the object of faith is God. But the origin of faith is the knowing that God is moved by hearing His Word spoken back unto Him in faith. Nobody can have faith in God unless God sends it down from heaven. Faith isn't a leap into the dark it's a step into the light. It takes the Word of God to build faith in God's ability to reward us. Without faith it is impossible to please God they that come unto Him must believe that He is and that He is a rewarder of those that seek after Him. Faith in the Bible is defined as the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11:1. 1. The object of faith is God, the origin of faith is the Word of God that we hear to make faith come. If we don't hear God's Word we'll never advance in God's concept of faith. Joshua 1:8 says, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, you shall meditate in it day and night, and do according to all that is written in it, for then you shalt make your way prosperous with good success. Isaiah 34 16 tells us to gather up the word of the Lord in our spirit. As we read it faith will build strong for us to say what we read. And not one of the promises read will fail us. None who claim them will be ashamed. For putting God's word on our mouth in a command will have great result, and our spirit will grow strong in what God says to keep repeating His promises over and over in a faith exercise. We have talked about the object of faith as God, and the origin of faith as God's Word is the source in reading the Word to put faith on lips. Now let's look at the objective of faith, as to connect to heaven for God's help. Faith is a spiritual force built from the spiritual word. To apply to natural problems. To bring forth supernatural results. Problems in the natural can be changed by the supernatural. We look into the supernatural to change the natural. The natural is always subject to change when faith is spoken in a supernatural way unto it. When the natural and the supernatural meet it makes an explosive force for God to change the natural. When God's word is spoken over the natural by a faith confession something supernatural beyond logic kicks in to manifest a change in the natural. The objective of faith is to bring forth a word based upon a promise of God. The word of God formed on our mouth brings faith alive to speak and say in faith. The same thing that God's word says. Now here is the final thing to wrap this up. The object of faith is God, the origin of faith is the word. The objective of faith is to change the natural by the supernatural. Lastly is the operation of faith. All the main points begin with the letter O. Object. Origin. Objective. Now operation. The Bible says in. The just shall live by faith. Romans 1:17. For we walk by faith, not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5:7. Faith operates in action. To believe the Word of God is to be live the Word of God in operation. Faith in action is what gives traction to drive on God's power. Real faith always moves out. Before it finds out how things are going to turn out, faith demonstrates itself by doing a small act. As if what we named and promise from God's Word. A small action. 
pressed toward the manifestation of the greater blessing, is what is needed to make faith's anointing follow. Are you believing God for a job? The faith action to take would be to pack the lunch you plan to eat on your lunch break at the new job. Psalm 75 6 says, God gives the promotion and jobs uplifts. Psalms 45 1 says your tongue is the pen of a ready writer. You can have what you say dash. Isaiah 57 19 says God creates by the fruit of the lips. Psalm 107 2 says let the redeemed of the Lord say so. God has given us the authority to speak in affirmation from His Word to change circumstances. Hebrews 13 5-6 says, God has said, in His Word, that we may boldly say from His Word. It is time to sign off for now in Jesus' name. But before I go, God wants you the podcast listener to respond to His call of podcast support from the uttermost parts of the world. You can give a donation to this Faith Clinic Fellowship Worldwide Ministry Outreach. You have $2, $5, $10, $50, or some have $100. To donate. Your donation will leave your hand. But it will never leave your life. It will go into the future to find an opportunity in faith to return an increase in God's blessings on you. Psalms 107.37 says so. You'll always. Reap what you sow. You'll always. Reap more than you sow. You'll always reap later than you sow. But you can't reap until you sow. Faith Clinic is good ground to sow a seed of faith by a Cash App donation to Dollar Terry Brunson 61. That Cash App is dollar T R R Y B R U N S O N 61. So, until next time. Be positive to yourself to keep God's word on your lips in a commanding promise to call those things that be not. As though they were by Romans 4:17. Call faith. Command by faith. And the results will turn your neighborhood into a brother and sisterhood of hope and power by a commanding call of faith. You have been listening to a voiceover of Evangelist Terry Brunson. The Faith Clinic's host facilitator for Dr. Jesus. This has been a portion reading coming from Faith Clinic publication titled, Advancing Faith in the Power of God from Catalog Booklet 02. That is Catalog Booklet 02 Advancing Faith in the Power of God. You can get in the full text of this message just heard. For a donation of $5 US or more, set your desire to have the full text in an email to terrybrunson61 at yahoo.com. That email one more again is T-E-R-R-Y-B-R-U-N-S-O-N 61 at yahoo.com or for a faster response you can call area code 215-770-4251 Faith Clinic Fellowship is a listener-supported podcast and we ask the people of God to give by a donation. You can give to Faith Clinic Fellowship Ministry in a gift of $2 or some have $100. To donate. Your donation will leave your hand. But it will never leave your life. It will go into the future to find an opportunity in faith to return an increase in God's blessings on you. Psalms 107, 37 says so. You'll always reap what you sow. You'll always reap more than you sow. You'll always reap later than you sow. But you can't reap until you sow. Faith Clinic is good ground to sow a seed of faith by a cash app donation to dollar sign T E R R Y B R U N S O N 6 1. That cash app is dollar sign T E R R Y B R U N S O N 6 1. So that cash app today, without a delay, to support the Faith Clinic podcast, a dollar sign Terry Brunson 61. Always remember, you don't have any problems. All you need is faith in God.